Hey you doing, I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. The following bizarre photos are sure to give you the chills. But as always, before we jump into it, consider hitting that subscribe button for more awesome, creepy content just like this. Many of us enjoy taking photos when we have a night out on the town. However, they rarely turn out to be scary pictures. Ian Rin and April Russ were certainly surprised by what they saw in the background of the selfie they took while dining at Two Jacques, one of the oldest restaurants in New Orleans. Just above Rin's left shoulder you can spot a semi-transparent face that appears to be watching the couple as they enjoy their meal. So who is this mysterious figure? According to local legend, the spot is haunted by Julian, aka Vesta Tilly. Julian was a drag performer who was something of a local legend. Julian was a famous actor in the silent age of film, even starring alongside Rudolph Valentino, and had his own line of cosmetics. His photo hung in two jacques until 2013 when it was removed to the attic. Apparently, Julian wasn't happy about the move, as he's been allegedly haunting the restaurant ever since. Could this photo really be of Julian? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Anyone who's lived in the United States has probably seen dozens of portraits of George Washington. However, it's unlikely you've seen him pop up in scary pictures. That's why this couple was so surprised when they started to see the face of the first US president appearing on their bedroom wall. In this photo taken in the couple's bedroom, you can clearly see a ghostly face that almost appears to be printed on the wall. Yet the couple insists that the wall is blank. The person who shared the photo online didn't even believe his girlfriend when she insisted she had seen the president's face on the wall, until he saw the evidence in the photo. When the photo was first shared, many thought the image had to be fake. However, the couple have staunchly defended the photograph, swearing that for some reason they're haunted by George Washington. This photo, submitted by Slapped Ham viewer Vakri Balderson, is just a cute dog acting silly in the front seat of a car, right? Well that's what the dog owner thought when he decided to capture the moment on camera. Little did he know that these scary pictures would show up on his camera. In the background of the photo behind the car, taken in Hemel Hempstead, we see what appears to be a blurry figure walking through the parking lot. At first glance, you would probably assume it's just a person walking by when the photo was taken. However, the person who captured the photo insists that they and the dog were alone in the parking lot when the photo was taken. Believing that a ghost might have photobombed them, they took to the internet to do some research and hopefully shed light on the mysterious picture. Much to their surprise, they discovered that a man named Adam Watt had been stabbed in the area in 2017. Watt unfortunately died as a result of his wounds. Could he have been the mysterious figure that appeared in the background of this photo? I'll throw this one out to you, love to get your opinions in the comments section below. This photo, submitted by Slaptown viewer Nick Carter, was taken when Carter was exploring a former RAF base at Manby Hall in the UK. He had no idea that the photos he took while exploring the base would turn out to be such scary pictures. On its face, the photo is a little creepy. The rundown room has an eerie aura that makes you glad you're only looking at a photo of it. However, if you look closely at the door on the far right of the picture, you'll see something truly spine chilling. A ghost-like face peering out from around the doorframe. In an old building like this, there are surely countless stories of tragedies and creepy events that could explain this terrifying face peeking out. As of right now, the identity of this spirit remains a mystery. We all take photos of ourselves. Usually the worst thing to happen is that we'll hate the way we look in them and instantly delete them. This woman, however, was probably terrified when she looked at this particular shot. The photo doesn't look particularly frightening at first. The scary part is in the shadows behind the woman's face where there appears to be another face staring out into the camera. What makes this photo particularly terrifying is how the photographer spotted the mysterious man. 
According to him, the photo editing software that he was using has facial recognition capabilities to help the user focus on the faces in the pictures. When he was editing this photo, the software kept focusing on the face in the shadows instead of the woman's face. What could explain this demon-like photo bomber? A man named Mark moved into a new house in Crewe, Cheshire. He was often alone in the house decorating when he would hear strange sounds. Footsteps, light switches and toilets flushing on their own. He thought he must be imagining things, even when he discovered that the woman who lived in the house previously had died suddenly. He never expected that the house would yield such scary pictures. Then he took this photo of four of his friends posing with drinks during a get together in the house. If you look closely at the painting in the background, you'll see what appears to be a woman's face looking out towards the camera. Mark was unnerved by this apparition in the picture. He tried several times to replicate the effect in the original photo, but without success. Could it be the spirit of the woman who died in this home? Without further information, we may never know the truth about this mysterious photo. In the 1700s, Lady Dorothy Walpole of Raynham Hall in Norfolk, England, met with an unfortunate fate. She was accused of adultery by her abusive husband and ordered to live out the rest of her life behind the closed doors of her home. She remained within the walls of Raynham Hall until 1726, when she died of smallpox. According to legend, her sentence of home imprisonment extended even until the afterlife. Visitors to the hall believe that she remains there even in death. This eerie photo captured the infamous Brown Lady of Raynham Hall as she descended a staircase in the building. She's dubbed the Brown Lady because each time she appears, she's wearing a brown brocade dress. There have been numerous sightings over the years of this notorious spirit who seems destined to wander the halls forever. The ghosts of children who appear in scary pictures are even more eerie and tragic than your average ghost photo. In this case, the sad face of a young boy seems to be staring out from the photo as if asking for help. The photo has circulated on paranormal websites for years, but no one's been able to explain or identify it. The unknown photographer snapped a photo in a cemetery. Behind one of the tombstones appears to be the disembodied head of a young boy who appears to be looking out from the trees. So who is this child? So far, no one's even been able to identify the cemetery in which the photo was taken. Without even this basic information, it's been impossible for ghost hunters to begin searching for the identity of this forlorn spirit. Perhaps finding his identity would be enough to put the young spirit at peace. Battlefields are a common haunting ground for spirits. This is understandable as thousands of people typically lose their lives on every battlefield. However, some battlefields are more popular for ghosts than others. The Gettysburg Battlefield in Pennsylvania is considered one of the most haunted spots in the world. On this battlefield, which was a turning point in the American Civil War, over 7,000 soldiers lost their lives. Many of these soldiers apparently stuck around long after the battle ended. While there are countless stories of ghosts haunting the town of Gettysburg, scary pictures of the ghosts are less common. In this photo, one tourist seems to have captured evidence of one of the battlefield's many resident spirits. The photo was taken of a group touring Devil's Den, one of the bloodiest locations on the battlefield. On the second day of the three-day battle, thousands of soldiers were killed as the Union Army defended the high ground atop the rocks. Apparently, one of the officers of the Confederate Army is still trying to storm the spot. Toward the back of the photo, you can see the image of a uniformed Confederate officer marching past the rocks, seemingly determined in his quest for victory. The tour group doesn't seem to notice the Phantom, but his presence in the photo is haunting. Could this really be the spirit of a Civil War soldier, forced to wander this old battlefield for the rest of time? Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at a terrifying shadow figure captured in a nursing home, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications. 
That way you'll be updated about all our latest content. Nursing homes can be frightening places, especially at night. In a place where people are often sick and dying, it can be hard to avoid feeling a little creeped out walking the halls. This photo of a darkened hallway in a nursing home will do little to quell that anxiety. On this particular night, a patient passed away. While sad, the death was a routine part of working in such a place. 15 minutes later, the staff and residents in the building heard doors mysteriously opening and closing. In addition, the call light in the now vacated room began turning on and off on its own. One resident went into the hallway and snapped this photo. They were horrified by what they saw. Floating at the end of the hallway is a terrifying black figure. Coupled with the other events of the evening, the resident believes this apparition could be the recently departed resident, or perhaps the reaper that came to collect them. Either way, this mysterious photo is certainly spine chilling. If you want more scary pictures just like these, then check out that video on the top there. Otherwise, there's an entire playlist dedicated to creepy photos. If you're new to the channel, then hit that thumbs up button because it lets us know you're enjoying the content. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time.